Hi everyone, it's Blonde from the Vortex Healing Center. We are live with our five day challenge and um, this is an advanced Qigong challenge. And the reason I'm calling it an advanced challenge is because I'm not gonna do a lot of the fluffy stuff that people talk about when they first talk about Qigong or some little ways to move energy or feel energy. I'm assuming that if you signed up for this challenge, and we're going to do it for five days in a row that you already know how to do some deep breathing techniques. You already have an awareness of what Qigong is as a method of increasing your internal awareness and your external awareness, awareness of everything that is all around you. And so we're going to jump right in here and we're going to talk about my method of using and teaching Qigong is to incorporate um, not just what my Sifu taught me, and I trained with Sifu Roosevelt Ganey on Coney Island for a very long time. And it's also been my guidance from Kuan Yin that has helped me bring this healing Qigong to many other people. And what we're looking at is particularly how can we make the body and the spirit, our awareness of all that is, integrated into one thing because we are not simply a human in body and we are not just our awareness and this is I think where a lot of meditation sometimes fails people because they forget about their body you are a physical body we are humans and learning to integrate our human existence in with our infinite spiritual existence is part of what Qigong does and in particular I work with people on how do you integrate this into your daily life as opposed to some theoretical exercise in um, that's just not relevant today so one of the first things we're going to do is I want to remind you I'm going to adjust this slightly you're here in my little office and the reason I filmed here is number one so I can get internet access number two I want you to see I don't want you to be constrained by any situation where you are today if you're stuck indoors um, I'm in a space that I can't touch the four walls but I'm just about about six inches shy of being able to touch all four walls here in this little office of mine and I want you to know that you can bring in accelerate your chi keep your chi, grow your chi, refine your chi, and grow your power wherever you are and whatever health issues you are facing at this very moment. So without any further ado, we're going to jump in on the number one thing I want you to remember when you're doing your qigong breathing, and I'm going to adjust my monitor on occasion. Let's see. Okay, I want you to see my navel. I want you to all find your navel, okay? Uh, everybody's navel's in a different place. I'm just going to tell you that. And uh, I want you to as you exhale, and as you exhale, your navel needs to come in. As you inhale, just let it all flow out. So that's each breath should be done with the navel moving because that's going to move your entire diaphragm, which is going to help move all five lobes of the lungs. And yes, you have five lobes of the lungs. I'm going to bring this up just slightly here. And the reason, again, I wanted to call this an advanced Qigong class is and challenge is because what we're going to teach you is a stance. And stances are hard to do. And the reason they're hard to do because it makes your mind go, well, this is stupid. I don't want to do this anymore. And that is all about the internal martial arts. It is about learning to control your mind, learning how to control that monkey mind that wants to just go off here, there, and everywhere. So now that you're breathing, I want you to have some long, slow, deep breaths. And I want you to exhale out as if you're exhaling out far, far away. And I want the exhale to be twice as long as the inhale. So you could do it with a count inside your head, a count of four, inhale, and a count of eight, exhale. And just slowly start relaxing your body. Ideally, I want you all standing up and doing this alongside with me. This is not an exercise that you practice when you're in the car. <laughs> so if you're in the car, come back to this later. The replay will be up. So inhale. We're going to do um, a few breaths of this.
I want you to use your intention now, and I want you to intend to release any stress or tension in the mental, physical, emotional, or spiritual bodies. And as you're just standing here, you're going to find body parts that are like, oh, that's a little tight. That's a little tense. I want you to be aware of them and relax into them. We're not trying to force things to go away. We're trying to relax into it and allow that space to sit calmly. So inhale again and exhale. Hey, Janet, we'll be here when you're back on. So I'm glad you were able to make it. And now I want you to take a look. I want you to take a look at your body. Now we're going to look at your alignment. I want you to. Look down at your feet, and I want your feet, your toes, to be pointing straight forward. That means that your heels and the ball of your foot are the same equidistance apart. What that's going to do is align up your hips, and it's aligning your knees. So if that feels weird, you're used to walking pigeon, pigeon toed, or you're used to extending your feet flat out. We're bringing them straight on, straight in. That's going to help align at least that lower core of your body. Now we're going to align the upper core of your body and with so much technology everybody looking down at their phones or looking down at the computer you've got we've got a lot of issues with people bringing rounding their shoulders forward this is my issue my head comes forward I still have to pull my shoulders back and intend to bring my ears over my shoulders this is now alignment okay ears over the shoulders shoulders are back okay and I want you to just most people, their shoulders are rolled forward because we're holding uh, so many devices in our hands. So let's roll those shoulders back. Do that three times. And each time, you should be able to bring your ears back further over your shoulders. And from this stance, I want you to just gently relax your knees. Just do a little wiggle right here so that your knees are relaxed. Okay? And now, and I'm being very intentional with these words, I want you to float your elbows up. Okay, float them down, just float them up. And now I want you to turn your forearms to face your body. I'm being very, very specific here. I didn't say lift your hands up. I said lift your elbows, float your elbows up and turn your forearm. These are very intentional words I'm using. And I want you to make sure that your elbows are still back. So starting again, I'm gonna show you, float the elbows up, turn the forearms to face you. And we're gonna hold this this stance now this is a stance i'm going to put as i'm trying to watch the screen i'm coming out of alignment so i'm going to stand so i can see the screen and i can be in alignment and i want you to hold this about heart height okay i want you to expand the webbing between your fingers and this is the stance we're going to do for 15 minutes and you will not be able to do this if you are not continuously relaxing your body. You will not be able to do this if your awareness is off somewhere else. Where your mind goes, your energy goes. So bring your energy into your body, holding this awareness, holding this space, using your intention to release any tension from the mental, physical, emotional, or spiritual bodies. I want you to just stay here with me. We're going to be doing this together. It's going to be quiet. Um, and I want you to find that quiet and that stillness inside. With Qigong, we do spend time. We spend time creating stillness while we're moving, and we will spend time creating movement while we're still. At the moment, I want you to just sit or stand with this stillness. And every time your mind wants to go off like, oh, I need to go do something, bring it back. Bringing back your mental toughness, your mental resilience here. If this is too hard to hold, if you have shoulder issues, allow your body to drop the elbows down till it's about at the navel and bring back standing as tall as you can stand 
bringing the ears over the shoulders. See how I had to realign myself? I usually say something when I am also realigning myself because your alignment with your physical body is what's going to help all of the energy to flow and all of those bad habits that we have when we're standing, walking, laying down, sitting, slouching, they create patterns in the muscle memory and we are creating new patterns for your muscle memory, creating new patterns for the fascia that connects all the muscles to the tendons and the tendons to the bones, creating new memory for those. So it may be uncomfortable for you in the beginning. It may especially be uncomfortable thinking that you could be standing up and relaxed at the same time. But that is exactly what I would like you to do. I want you to relax deeper into this. With every exhale, I want you to use your intention and exhale out any remaining tension in the mental, physical, emotional, or spiritual bodies. And I'm going to invite you now, I'm going to talk you through how to start relaxing different body parts while you're standing because understand that your muscles are used exclusively in the body for movement. If they're turned on right now, they're going to start hurting. So you're going to have to start turning off those muscles. And we don't realize how many parts of our body we're contracting at different times until you intentionally put some pressure on them like now and you will find out where you are holding tension in the muscles. So I invite you, since we are not moving, to release all the muscles. You'll find them because they're going to start making themselves quite known, They'll start being quite vocal. So starting at the top of the head, relax the head, relax your hair, relax the back of the head, relax your ears. Relax your forehead, relax your eyebrows, relax your eyes, relax the eye socket, totally completely relax the eye socket, relax your nose, relax your cheeks, relax your cheekbones, relax your lips, relax the spot above your lip, between your nose, relax your chin, relax your jaw. Relax the mandibular bone where the jaw connects to the skull. Totally and completely relax your mandibular. Relax your throat. Relax the side of your neck. Relax the back of the neck where it connects to the skull. Relax the back of the neck where it connects to the spine. Relax your whole neck. Relax your throat. Relax your tongue. Relax your teeth. All the while, invite you to take the long, slow, deep, powerful breaths. Relax your shoulders. If your shoulders are tense, relax them down. Totally, completely relax your shoulders. Relax your arms. Relax your elbows. Relax your forearms. Relax your palms of your hand. Relax the back of your hand. Relax your fingers. Relax the webbing between the fingers. Totally and completely relax from the top of the shoulder to the tip of the fingers. Relax your rib cage. Relax your lungs. Relax your diaphragm muscle. Relax your organs. Relax your liver. Relax your heart. Relax the large intestine. Relax the small intestine. Totally and completely relax the entire front of the body. And now, from the back of the body, totally and completely relax the spine. Relax the top of the shoulders. 
Relax the wings. Relax the middle of the back. Relax the curve in the back. Relax your lower back. Relax your entire back. Relax from the top of your skull to the tip of your coccyx, the tiniest last little bone in your spine. Totally and completely relax your spine. Totally and completely relax your back. Relax your kidneys. Relax your adrenals. Every human on this planet has had their adrenals overstimulated in the last few months. Relax them. Send them love. Send them light. Send them a smile. Send all your adrenals a smile. Breathe. Long, slow, deep, powerful breaths. Relax your navel. Relax your hips. Relax your hip sockets. Relax the perineum. Relax your thighs. Relax the front of the thighs. Relax the back of the thighs. Relax the knee. Relax the kneecap. Relax the back of the knee. A lot of people hold so much tension in the back of their knee. Relax that spot. Breathe into it. Totally and completely relaxed. Totally at ease. Totally safe. Totally protected. Relaxing deeper with every exhale. Relax from the top of the hip down to the knee, totally and completely relaxed. Relax your, your calves. Relax the shins. Relax the ankles. Relax the Achilles tendon. Relax your foot. Totally and completely relax your foot. Relax all the bones in your feet. Relax your toes. Totally and completely relax your toes. Relax the arch of your foot. Relax the ball of your foot. Totally and completely relax your foot. From your heel to the tip of your toes, relax your foot. And now I invite you to do the same relaxation from the top of your head to the tip of your toes at your own pace, noticing where you feel any tension, because you may be feeling tension now. If you're feeling tension in your shoulders, make sure they're rolled back and that your ears are over the top of your shoulders. You want your entire rib cage to hang down just like those skeletal bones that you see all those pictures of if you've ever been to an anatomy class that had those skeletons, it hangs right from the shoulders. Let your entire rib cage hang down. Notice, is your body still in alignment? Are your toes still pointing forward? Are your shoulders relaxed and back? Are your ears relaxed and back? Are you standing tall and relaxed? We wanna create more space inside the body, elongating the back, elongating the spine, creating space for the oxygen to flow. You may need to make some little micro adjustments in your body, make some micro adjustments with where your elbows are, make some micro adjustments in your shoulders. You will need to be using your breath to be relaxed. Long, slow, deep, powerful breaths. You're doing great. We're almost there. And the reason I call this an advanced class is because it takes an enormous amount of effort when you first start to hold a stance like this. We're going to start this exercise with 15 minutes. A true stance is 
60 minutes. So it would be something to build up to. But this particular stance is the single fastest way to grow your power the most quickly, to grow your healing the most quickly, to grow your health the quickest, to grow your strength the quickest. Because it takes mental strength right now for you to keep this stance and not drop your elbows. Again, if you need to hold it, don't drop them completely. Lower your elbows to your navel. If you can hold it at your heart level, I invite you to hold it right here and hold that energy. I invite you to consciously exhale out any remaining tension in the mental, physical, emotional, or spiritual bodies. Relaxing, releasing, letting go. Letting go of any attachment of how it used to be or how the world is or was or should be. Totally letting go. Accepting your body as it is right now at this very moment. Accepting your life as it is at this very moment. Allow your awareness to be totally and completely aware of everything that is happening inside you down to the quantum level and allow your awareness to be aware of everything that is happening all around you down to the quantum level. Relaxing, releasing, noticeably exhaling with your mouth open. And there it is. I'm going to shake that out. Shake your body. Shake your arm up to the top and shake to the other side. Shake your legs. Shake the other legs. And that is the five day challenge. We will be doing the stance for five days. And again, this is not an easy challenge. This is an advanced challenge for people who've been practicing breath work for a while. And I invite you to try it with me here for the next four more days at this exact time, wherever you are on the planet. As you see, you need nothing else to raise the energy. I'd like you to type in the comments how this feels for you. How are you doing with this? And um, can you feel that energy? You should feel a huge surge of energy flowing through your body right now. Uh, we did we did carry and hold a lot of chi, just so you know. So if you were able to hold that for the full 15 minutes, and I congratulate you. You're doing great. I'd love to see you all back here tomorrow at this same time, same bat channel. Have a great day. Thank you.